Good morning, beautiful people. Girls, you want to tell them where we're going? <gasps> You're coming. You are. You too, Joey. They also just got grooms. Hi. We're not going to leave you this time, I promise. I promise, Zoe. Look at me in the eyeballs. Look at me in the eyeballs. She's freaking out. morning YouTube it is 6 30 in the morning and Steve and I are about to head out to go to Indiana to go see our families for Thanksgiving and we thought we would take the girls because we don't want to leave them here and we travel like once or twice a month so leaving them at the pet resort would be just cruel so we're gonna bring them with us and this is our second time bringing them on a plane with us they do pretty well I'll show you guys how they respond. Yay. Great, like I said, we have already taken our dogs on an airline with us before to Indiana. I think we took United, yes, United. And the fee was, I believe, $125 each way for each dog. So it definitely added up. Uh, right now we're taking Southwest and it's $95 each way per dog. I always felt like you needed papers and it was gonna be this huge long process. And it is if they are going under the plane, but if they're coming in the cabin with you, they have to be 20 pounds or under. And then their crate, I got the dimensions for you guys. It needs to be 17 and a half inches long, 12 inches wide, and seven and a half inches high. Uh, so I basically went on Google and typed in airline approved in cabin dog crates, pet crates, whatever. And this is what came up. I believe, here, let's get a better look at this. I believe I got it off of Chewy.com and these come open so it makes it wide. I'll show you guys here on each side. So as you can see, it has some netting here. So in the plane, if they get too claustrophobic um, and you need to give them some air, you can, that's what we did at least. We at least put the wings out on each side. Um, but of course, when you're not using it, when you're walking through the airport and through security, you'll want to keep it shut and that's kind of what we have they like it each one fits in it zoe is 11 pounds and lily is i think 17 pounds and i was nervous that they weren't going to let them on because i didn't know if lily was truly 17 pounds i thought she was 22 pounds but we actually ended up getting there and they didn't weigh either of our dogs they basically put tags on our um little crates you can hold the dogs on leashes throughout the airport um, and then also through security which really surprised me I don't know if every airport is different I'm sure it is but for Denver that's how it went we haven't taken them out past security because we were late for our flight we were like running through the airport but today we're gonna ask if there's like a place to for them to go after security which I hope there is um, but yeah it's really easy we actually do give them CBD oil. We gave it to them last time. Just be careful with dosage because you don't want to give them too little for it not to work. You don't want to give them too much. So I would just play around with it and see what works for them. I personally am going to use our CBD oil um, just in the form of like a droplet today. Put it on my hand and they'll, they'll lick it up. For me, that's like a more accurate representation. Uh, the treats are good too if you can find treats, but for if you guys can like measure it out in a little tincture thing, that would be the most accurate. So anyways, we're going home. I don't know how long you guys have been watching my channel, but Indiana is where I've lived the past seven years and where Steve grew up. And that's kind of where I started my whole fitness and health vlogging and Instagram and everything. So we're going back to that hometown. We're probably gonna work out at those gyms. So I'll probably take you guys along the ride for old times sake. Anyways, we're gonna go. We're almost at the airport. Wish us luck. Let's do this. Shh, sit, sit. Good girl. I don't have anything for you, but, oh, here's your bone. Here's your bone. Good girl. What about you? What about you, Zoe? 
watch Lily will get it. Oh my gosh, poor Zoe. Okay, here. Here. Sit. Sit. Good girl. You are such a puppy. Hi, huh, Zoe. Hi, huh, Zoe. Say, we made it through the airport. We made it through. We made it home, and it's been the longest day ever. Like, holy moly, sat in the airport for so long because we were so early, and then the flight, and taking the dogs was amazing. Like, they were really, 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 really good. But Zoe didn't pee from 6 a.m. till 12 p.m. our time. So the whole time I was like freaking out that she was gonna go, number one and number two, on the plane ride, but she didn't. She just slept on my lap, and um, Southwest is what I, what we flew, and I normally don't think that they're supposed to let you take your dogs out, but luckily enough, they let me take Zoe out, and I just had her chilling on my lap. They didn't say anything until we landed, and then told me to put her back in the bag for landing. So, yeah, really lucky there, um, but again, if you guys want to take your dogs, be sure that they weigh 20 pounds or less get the right um, carry-on bag for them. They don't really regulate it too, too hard is what I've experienced the past two times I've done it, but just make sure it can, it does fit under the seat and those dimensions I gave you earlier should work for you guys. But other than that, it was really good and uh, if your dogs are rambunctious at the start, they'll calm down after about an hour or two, but at the airport, just be prepared to like calm them down and hold them and um, keep them from barking at people because that's what Lily did. Cause she got so excited cause there were so many people around her, yada, yada, yada. But it was great and um, yeah, we're definitely gonna keep doing it. We're gonna do it on Christmas to bring them here again. So yes. We got home and we've been just chilling because we're exhausted from launch this past weekend. But uh, it's really cool to come home to the same house that Steve and I were in. We lived in for a year, so I thought I'd kind of like take you around the house if you guys are new to my channel, and also maybe play clips from the first year that I vlogged, which was in this house, and there's just like a lot of memories. I'm running over here to show you my pre-workout meal. Mint under there, and then I'll show you guys the next steps, but about two cups of this buffalo sauce. Of working hard and trying to build my business and competing and all of that, all these memories in this house. Um, so I'm going to take you along where everything is, but to start, uh, I started my YouTube channel 2015, summer of 2015, and the first YouTube video I did was whack. I was like so shy, and I didn't know what to say, and I did so many outtakes, and blah, blah, blah. Hello, YouTube. I just thought I would start off my little YouTube channel on my way to Chicago because I'm trying out for the NBC. I just kind of did it for fun just to see what would happen. And right now we're going to this coffee shop called Dollop. And I'm gonna show you guys kind of a healthy alternative that I like to get. High energy carbs, which is gonna be things like oatmeal, quinoa, brown rice, cereal, pretty much anything that you can get from a box. And then you're gonna have your low energy carbs, which is gonna be any veggies. Up and, you know, curling iron and all of that. On show day, you're gonna be super tan and pretty much uh, the darkest you'll ever be in your life. So this spray tan, you're gonna have about two or three, maybe four coats on. What I recommend that I take is just a multivitamin um, right before bed because uh, generally when I take multivitamins, they don't make me feel good or they make me nauseous so I just take mine right before bedtime. Oh the daily YouTube. Wait. Wait <laughs> maybe YouTube. spare saying <laughs> say hey guys. What up guys? What up friends? <laughs> What's the best way to do this? Hey guys. What's up? Uh, and then flash forward to now I feel like I can just act my complete self and just go on camera, but the first time I did it, it was really rough. Uh, and then I, so I graduated Purdue right when I started my channel. I got a little camera, I think it was like a Canon, nothing special at all, or maybe even a GoPro type camera. It was like, I don't even know what it was, but it wasn't like what I have now. 
um, but I didn't care. I, all I knew was why I wanted to start my YouTube channel because I was competing and I wanted to vlog my journey for you guys. Um, that was like the whole point of my YouTube channel. I didn't know it was going to turn into like a daily vlog or vlogging or anything like that. I just kind of wanted to take you guys along the ride for my competition. So I did that and uh, right, right when I graduated Purdue in 2015 and I didn't get a dietetic internship. Um, you guys probably know that if you've been watching my channel, but I didn't get a dietetic internship and I tried multiple times, but I felt like God was just shutting that door and I wanted to do something else in the fitness industry. I knew that I was going to be doing just something else other than being a dietitian. So I moved back home and I was a trainer and a nutritionist at this gym in Indianapolis called FitFlex Fly F3. Um, and I decided that while I was at that gym, I kind of preferred working online instead of working in person because I had started to create a website and build my clientele there. Um, I started my website actually my senior year and it kind of just rolled on until I got that F3 job, uh, FitFlex Fly job. And then I kind of built it from there and I decided I wanted to do my own thing. So I worked there for six months and I quit. Um, Actually, I quit probably like four months into it um, and I was still living at my parents and had I had my parents not let me live with them for a year after college, I probably wouldn't have been able to try and really dive into my business because I wasn't paying rent, obviously. So I was able to fully like every single day, 6 a.m. till 11 p.m. like work on my online business and gain clientele there and work on my Instagram and work on my YouTube and had it not had my parents not let me live with them I don't know if it would have been the same case I probably would have had to work a job or two and then also try and start my online business so I'm, I feel very grateful and blessed there that they were able to support me through that um, and then after doing that for a year I was able to fully support myself with my online coaching business that I moved out of the house with Steve um, and then it kind of just took off from there uh, but yeah that's kind of where my journey started and I wanted to kind of give you guys a background I don't know if you guys are new to my channel or just taking you down memory lane for those that have been OG subscribers but yeah, that is my journey. And so this house is very sentimental to me because I feel like it's very, it's, it is a very like huge part in my life and in my career because now you guys see like where we're at with our business businesses and we're living in Colorado and this and that, but this is where it all started was where I was able to fully commit and literally have no friends in Indiana because I was grinding so hard on my Instagram, YouTube, and online coaching business um, that whole time. So I really had to put my head down and work, but it was really, really worth it because I am able. I was able to get to where I am now. So yes, that's a little background story on me. And that was three years ago. Three years ago? Graduated in 2015. Yeah, whatever. You guys, you guys can, you guys know. Okay, so I want to take you around here. Steve and I lived in this room for a year together. And if you guys can picture all of my belongings and all of his belongings in one room, this is it. Okay, let me show you. It got really crowded. Uh, so we just came in, had the same bed. We had a thing here. We didn't have this couch here. We had like a little dresser. And then this was... Our bathroom, what's up? You guys probably remember some selfies in here. <laughs> and then closet, and Steve was scribing at that time for medical school, so he was always gone, um, even like during the night. And, oh, looks like puppies in my room. So he was hardly here, but like all of our stuff was in the same room. Which was also another reason why I was able to grind because Steve wasn't, with me a lot so I was like alone a lot and I was able to like fully dive into all of this that I'm currently doing today so for instance I would wake up and I'd go do my fast cardio for bikini competition and you guys probably remember me walking down the stairs now I have two dogs and there's my bunny that my mom is keeping <laughs> <laughs> 
And then, remember me getting some coffee for fasted cardio. And then going to do my thing. And there's my mom. And uh, here's the kitchen I used to cook a lot at. And this <laughs> is it. <laughs> so, taking you guys down memory lane. And now I live in Colorado and they still live here. So, oh, it's so sad. I know, it's sad. My yeah. YouTubers miss you guys. They tell me all the time. Oh, we miss you guys too. <laughs> yeah, but you never know. One day we could be back together. Not in Indiana know. though. <laughs> we ain't coming back here. We ain't coming back. <laughs> but hope you guys enjoyed Memory Lane. I'm gonna go have some wine with my mom. Oh yeah. And we're gonna enjoy the night and literally do nothing and I'm so excited. So, thank you guys for watching. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next one.